Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good to see you back. In this video, we'll learn about the playbooks for Microsoft Sentinel. We'll see that how we can initiate an email whenever a new incident is created. So create the Microsoft Sentinel playbook. Let's click on Microsoft Sentinel. Click on Sentinel that we have created. Let's hide this window. On the left hand side, scroll down to the very bottom. Here we can see an option of automation. Click on automation. As of now, we don't have any automation rules configured. To create a new rule, click on create. Under the drop down, we can see five options. We're going to talk about all these five options in the later videos. But for this lab purpose, we'll create a playbook with incident trigger, which means a playbook will be triggered every time a new incident is created. So let's click on playbook with incident trigger. So out here, we need to select the subscription. We need to select the resource group in which we wanted to create the playbook. We'll give the playbook name. So let's give it and see then trigger. Okay. Now, if you wanted to capture the diagnostic locks, you can enable the enable diagnostic locks and it's going to save all the data in the log analytics workspace, but we are not doing it for this lab purpose. So click on next for connections. Out here, it is going to create a system manage identity to connect to Microsoft Sentinel. So we are good with that. Click on next. So now click on create and continue to designer. So in the background, what it gonna do, it will create the playbook and it will open the logic app designer for us. So it's actually the logic app designer, which is working in the background. So here we are in logic app designer and we can see an option of Microsoft Sentinel incident. So now, the logic what we need to build is that whenever a new Microsoft Sentinel incident is created, we wanted to send an email to take an example to a group of user or to an administrator. So that's what we need to do. So let's click on plus sign and click on add an action. So out here, we need to say what we are looking to do as an action. So what we need to do, we need to send an email. So let's search for send an email. So we can see all the options out here. So we'll expand this. And here we need to select outlook.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Here we'll see an option to send an email version two. So click on that. Now here, what we need to do, we need to log into Outlook.com and grant the access to send an email. So let's sign into Outlook.com. So here we need to select an email. Once we are successfully signed into Outlook.com, this is the option that we can see now. Now we need to define the body, subject, and two. So let's start with body. So here we can define the dynamic content. So take an example. We want to send information of incident description. So let's search for it. Click on that. So incident description will be sent in an email. Now the subject will be new incident created you can also select dynamic content as per your requirement we'll talk about dynamic content in the future videos we'll see many dynamic contents there are many options that we can select so we'll talk about them now in terms of two let's send it to ourselves so now this is the settings that we have defined for the parameters. So for the body, 
of this email will be receiving incident description. In the subject, it will say new incident created. In the two, we can see the, the list of receivers to whom this email will be sent. You can even mention the group email as per your requirement. So let's select the incident importance as high. So as we are done with all these settings, so we are not defining any other parameters. So let's save this. Okay, so our logic app is completed and it is saved now. So now let's go back to our Sentinel. As we are back on Sentinel, so now click on active playbooks. So that's where we can see this newly created playbook. Now, what we need to do, we have already disabled the analytics rule. So let's go back to analytics and see what all rules that we have. So we have some rules out here. So let's enable one of these rules and we need to attach the newly created logic app with this rule. So let's select the sign in logs. Click on edit. Let's go to automated response. Click on add new. So this is the name that we need to define. So when incident is created, okay, the action what we need to perform is run playbook. And the playbook that we have created, we need to select that playbook here from the drop down menu. So here we can see that it shows that no Sentinel permissions. So click on manage playbook permissions. Click on resource group. Click on current permissions. We don't have any permissions. Click on browse, click on apply. So we are granting permission to resource group or Sentinel. So now let's select the incident trigger playbook that we have created earlier. Now click on apply. So this is done. Click on next to review that. It's validating. So validation is passed down. Let's save it. So now the rule is saved. Now what we need to do as we can see that the status of this rule is disabled. Let's select this and then enable this rule. Okay, so the rule is enabled now. Now, what we can do now is, let me try to log in with some of the fake users and see that what all incidents are getting created. And let me also see what all emails we're gonna receive. So let me pause the video and try to log in with some of the fake users. So after waiting for a couple of minutes, uh, we don't see any email. Let's go back to our analytics rule and check if there's anything which we have missed. So here we can see that our rule is already enabled. Let's click on the rule and click on edit. Let's go to automated response. It is strange, we don't see any automated response in this rule. If you recall, there was an automated response that we have created in Logic App, and we have added the same response over here. So as we are not able to see that, let's try adding it once again and see how it works. So click on Add New, define the automation rule name, This rule is going to trigger whenever a new incident is created. Select the runbook which we want it to trigger. What this runbook is going to do, it is going to send an email to the user whenever a new incident is created. So let's select this. Now click on apply. Click on next for review. It is validating. Once the validation is passed successfully, click on save. 
Okay, now the rule is saved successfully. Now let's go back and verify once again to confirm if the automated response is added to this rule or not. For that, let's select the rule once again. Click on edit. Click on automated response. Okay, so here we can see the rule added now. So let's go back to our emails. So here we can see that there are so many emails that we have received for the new incidents that are created. Let's select one of them. Let me zoom in. So here we can see that the email is received for the new incident created. We don't see any body out here. We don't see any detailed information. That's because when we created the incident rule in the dynamic content, we have not selected much of the content. As per your requirement, you can select the dynamic content which you wanted to send in an email. So that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Bye friends, keep smiling and have fun.